Is all of this forbearance going to cause a market crash similar to what we had in 2008? Hi, my name is Mike Son and I'm with AZ and Associates. As of February 14th, the Mortgage Bankers Association has information on this and it looks like we're in pretty good shape. 84% of the people who entered into forbearance are either out of it or working through it to set up repayment plans. 51% are paid in full, about 34% worked out a repayment plan, and only about 15.6% are still in trouble. It's important to understand what's happening with forbearance. And the numbers, since May, are continuing to go down as of now, there's only about 5.2% of all mortgages in forbearance. So we keep hearing all this information in the news about how we're going to crash because forbearance is so high, but if you look at the facts, that just isn't true. For 2021, according to all of the experts, they're forecasting an increase of 5.9% on average for appreciation in home prices for 2021. That's nationwide. Also, there's concern from Americans and we're seeing scary headlines that the market will crash because home prices are increasing so quickly. However, if we compare the average price in home appreciation from 2002 to 2005 leading up to the 08 crash, the average annual appreciation was 10.3%. Now, if you look from 2017 to 2020, the average annual appreciation nationwide for home prices is only 6.3%, drastically less. Very, very different situation today. Look, it's easy to listen to the news, but it seems there's a lot of hype and negativity around what's happening, and it's not based on actual facts. I'm Mike Zahn, and I'm with AZ and Associates, and remember, we find people we like, the home they love. See you in my next video.